everybody. Well, I am making one more Halloween cocktail for you. And it's called an apple cider spritz. So, not too difficult. I'm going to start with three ounces of apple cider. That's just put in a very large glass. And then one ounce of Aperol, which is an Italian aperitif. sort of my take on a witch's dress today. Um, a pinch or two of pumpkin spice. There we go. And then you're supposed to stir it up really, really well. Because pumpkin spice doesn't mix that well. So where's the spritz come in? Well, just wait a second. You'll find out. <laughs> I haven't decided on my Saturday night uh, costume yet. And then you're supposed to add ice. And I don't know that we're gonna get it in there. Let's just see. And then three ounces of sparkling wine, Prosecco, Cava, Champagne. I happen to like Prosecco. Now this is going to be tempting because I haven't been drinking much at all. When I say much, maybe one a week. Once I open this bottle, it's all over but the shout. Doesn't mean I don't have to drink it all tonight. <laughs> By the way, do you know the trick? A little silver spoon in an open bottle of any kind of sparkling wine, put it in the fridge, keeps it bubbly for two or three days. Swear to God, I've been doing it for years and years and years. So, then the recipe calls for one, two, Three ounces of Prosecco. Whoa. It still has some pumpkin spice things floating around in there. I'm going to stir it with a cinnamon stick. And then we're going to try and fix it with a slice of apple on the side. Just like that. So here goes. Ooh, good. Just gonna stuff that apple right in there and just let it kind of marinate. Mmm. Very refreshing. Kind of a, it would be great around the pool. Of course, this time of year in the fall, uh, in Florida, we're still sitting around the pool. I know, it's mean, isn't it? Well, some of you are freezing. So let me turn the camera around here just a little bit. You can see my robe is back there that I'll wear with a hood. And I'll back right up so you can see this dress. It's all jagged edged. Turn around for you. Just like that. Kind of witchy, isn't it? And then this is my, actually it's my vampire robe. I have a great set of vampire teeth. And there we are, all ready to go out for a very witchy, night. I hope you're gonna all have fun. I know Halloween isn't until next week, but we're celebrating it here so 
end of the week, Friday. Saturday night is the big costume party. Um, what I'm wearing depends on whether my friend shows up. I have tickets for two. So if we go as a couple, uh, I'm going to be kind of a runaway bride. And he's going to be the jilted groom, which should be really, really cute. But if you can't make it, I'm going to wear my schoolgirl outfit. What a shame, right? <laughs> I'm not even going to move the camera around. This place is starting to look like a disaster, which means I've been doing my work. Yeah. Friday, I have an electrician coming to take down the chandelier in the dining room and the chandelier in the playroom. And then, of course, I have to put back what was there, and then I'm going to have to buy a new fan for the playroom. And just one little plumbing repair. And pack, 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 pack and we'll be ready to go get those keys on December 1st. So have a great Halloween weekend. Be safe. Uh, if you kids, I know you're going out with your kids. When I was a little kid, our parents didn't have to come with us for Halloween. When we were really little, we went from house to house and people invited us into their home and they had a whole table, donuts and cider and candy and popcorn and drinks for the adults and everybody went in and you went up and down the street. So different from what it is today. It's such a shame that children can't really enjoy Halloween, but there's no reason why you couldn't have a neighborhood party again. Keep them all safe on your street. After all, how many buckets of candy do they need? No, I didn't buy any because there are any kids in this community. And there won't be any where I'm going, so the trick-or-treating will have to be done with the adults. See you next Monday. Have a fabulous weekend. And remember, it doesn't cost a thing to be kind. Namaste, my friends.